Hello, YouTube, and welcome into the start of another Let's Play for Civilization VI. I am the Game Mechanic, and these next videos coming at you are from the Khmer. Khmer are a, um, a new civilization with the Fall update, and frankly, they're a little weak. Um, they have some interesting faith mechanics, which is which are what you are going to see in the following videos. Um, we do kind of have a fun game um, that we live streamed, and that's what we're gonna you guys are gonna see here shortly. Um, but as far as yeah, as far as strength of Civ, not not particularly useful. Um, holy sites give you plus two food and some housing and a culture bomb. So that's interesting. This is sort of a decent start. It's like an interesting way to be like, okay, we're doing a faithful. You know, the housing is nice because um, if you're running a, a, a faithful game, you. you your first three districts, um, generally speaking, are campus, commercial hub, industrial zone, but you need to fit a, a holy site in there somewhere. Um, so you need four districts, so you need pop 10. Um, so that's an interesting way to begin that. Um, they they kind of try to continue that with uh, a, a, an aqueduct uh, bonus of faith and amenity, and then farms there, you know, providing two food if they're adjacent to the aqueduct. Um, that's not good like it's an interesting concept and, a, and an interesting um way to try to build this you know again to try to get you to pop 10 um but you don't really want to be building a lot of aqueducts uh and it's not even a unique aqueduct so it's not like you build it super fast it's just an aqueduct bonus so um that's not particularly useful um they have a unique siege unit that i'm yet to play with um we played this game like right after the fall update um, it's been about a month. I'm yet to play with this. I need to get to that at some point. Um, it's from what I, from what I hear, it's not very good. Um, it's sort of right in between your catapult and your bombard, and it just comes way late in the tech tree, um, and and therefore not super useful. It can move and shoot in the same turn. That is useful, but I've heard tell that it's not super super fun or unique. Um, we unfortunately do not get to utilize it during this particular game. Um, one thing we do utilize is the Prasat. Um, it is a unique temple, uh, and you basically get the free martyr ability for missionaries. Missionaries only. Um, and if they die, they create a relic. Okay. So you're kind of forcing out some missionaries, but then they have to die, and that so you spread your religion, but then you don't. But so we build our we build our um, religion around this, and we actually have a pretty fun faith uh, mechanic with with like faith relic game um, in store for you. So it's kind of fun, it's kind of cute. It does amount to um, a fair amount of faith. Like later on, we we are actually generating a ton of faith from the relics, um, but they're not infinite. Um, we had a point in the game where. We aren't able to get any more relics, so I don't know with the new relics if they're just limited or, or what the deal is there. Um, but it's a really fun faith game. We, we get to try out all the new mechanics, so if you haven't seen those um, since the fall update, please enjoy the game, and uh, we will resume into turn one. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to follow me over on twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic. See you later. Thanks for watching.